$100,000 in federal funding for the planning, engineering, and design, also known as PED phase, of the Encinitas Solana Beach Coastal Storm Damage Reduction Project. The primary purpose of this project is to stabilize tall bluffs that erode due to high energy storm swells and rising sea levels, posing threats to life, property, and critical infrastructure. The cities of Encinitas and Solana Beach have nearly the entire local cost share of the PED phase already in hand, and they've been waiting for initial federal funding for many years. I'm glad to announce today that that wait is finally over. The $400,000 allocated by the Army Corps represents the full amount of federal funding needed for the year and effectively unlocks additional funding that local municipalities have pledged to the project. But I think we need to do much more. Global warming and storm tides are only going to get worse in our area here. Since the accident that killed three of my family members, Julie, Annie, and Elizabeth, happened eight months ago, there have been numerous bluff collapses, all with potential to kill people. They will continue to happen along our beautiful beaches in Encinitas and Solana Beach. People need to be mindful how dangerous these bluffs can be. Engineers have warned us that a safe distance from the bluffs is 30 to 40 feet. I would love to work with the city and the state to make our beaches safe where cliffs exist. I was in third grade when the investigations for this study began, and since then, <laughs> all of the residents and the visitors to our beautiful beach town have been waiting for the day when we can put more sand on the beach and restore the historic sand levels that we loved about Encinitas and years back. So the project that will offer multi-benefits, um, not limited to the recreation of habitat for shorebirds, for um, invertebrates, including clams and crabs and all the things that are so important to the foundation of our ecology. Um, it will also provide a wider recreational space, which will allow for increased public safety. And it will um, limit the damage from storms and swells and wind and wave action that has eroded our bluffs over, over the years.